Can you save $100,000 or more on a house? Yes, you can. How? Add an auction. Will you save that kind of money every time? No. Are there auctions in Franklin, Tennessee? Yes. You might be wondering what kind of house you can get at auction in Franklin, Tennessee. That's what this video is all about. This video is recorded live. It's not polished like my normal videos. I like to think they're polished. You see this reflection in my glasses on the white screen, not polished. But I thought this is the best way to get the auction idea out to you. The first thing you have to know is the usual reason a home is auctioned off is either because it's in poor condition or it needs to be updated or remodeled significantly to compare to neighborhood standards. Typically, the seller doesn't have the resources or the desire to do either of those two things. The second thing is when somebody wins the bid on an auction home, there's no contingencies, no exceptions. It's truly a one and done sale. You do get to preview the house to see what you're getting into. It's usually the week before a couple hours or the day of a couple hours, but you don't get a ton of time. Typically, there's a 10% buyer premium added on top of the sale price. The seller gets the sale price. The 10% is the commission. If the bidder, the buyer, fails to close, the 10% is usually forfeited. I'm going to show you five Franklin homes that were auctioned off and a comparable move-in ready home in the same neighborhood so you can get an idea of what to expect from an auction. Remember, these are all sold properties. I'm limited by MLS rule to showing you solds like this. Finally, if you have questions about Williamson County or the Nashville area, my contact information is in the description box. So here we go. So here's how this is going to go. I'm going to go through five properties. We're going to go through the price, the vitals, meaning bedrooms, baths, square footage. We're going to go through when it closed, when it was built, where it is, and anything else that seems important. So you'll catch on real quick. This one sold. It's Jeb Stewart Drive in Grassland. You'll see a map in a minute for $580,800. Call it $581,000. It's five bedrooms, three baths, 2,500 square feet. It closed last October. Seems like a, a lifetime ago, but this is what we've got to work with for auctions. It was built in 1972. The acreage is 1.35. That's kind of common. For those neighborhoods that are older like that, you typically get more land, not like today where it's 0.152225. Look at elbow room. We got that. It's in Battlewood Estates. I'm going to show you a map in just a second. Here's an important point. This is an absolute auction they, they had on this house. There's two types of auctions, absolute and reserve. An absolute auction means the winning bid, no matter how low it is, wins the bid, done deal. A reserve auction is where the seller puts in a lower threshold. If the bids don't rise to that lower threshold, the auction fails and they go due to something else. That's what they'll try something else. But in this case, it was an absolute auction. The reason they do that is because who doesn't want to get a house for $100,000 or the chance to? So it draws a bigger crowd. A bigger crowd means more competition. More competition typically means higher price. That's what happens with these uh, absolute auction properties. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the inside of this property to see what it is that we actually got. They got for $581,000. I'm not going to go through all the pictures, just going to pick out some ones that catch my attention. If you you might have to rewind the video if you want to see other pictures or look up the property. So this looks like a 1972, just looks that way, right? I like that. This is the best example of an auction property. It's a lovely home, but if you were in the open market, what are people going to say when they walk in there? They're going to say, well, I've got to update that. I'm going to spend a fortune updating this thing. That's exactly the point. Look at the, the land. It's just, I like mature neighborhoods for that reason. I like that kind of land, the trees and the covered streets. I love all of that stuff. Here's something else. Let me bring this to your attention. For a seller and an auction, it makes it much easier for the seller because it's like one day, 20 minutes, and that thing is sold. Or it's not if it's a reserve, but it's gone. See this kitchen? My old boss used to say nobody's ever complained about too much counter space. And this, if, if you were to try to sell this house, you only think like declutter, but they didn't have to do that. That's just one of the benefits of, of an auction. 
this is just such a, a prime example of a house that needs to be auctioned off to get top dollar. Because if a buyer was to come in here, you'd be wrestling with them all week about the prices and updates and all the rest of it. But it's just lovely, lovely land. Looking at that, that's just, that's a nice place. Now let's do one thing else. Let's look at the map. The reason Grassland is so popular, it is popular, it's just really small, is because it kind of splits the difference between Franklin, this is Franklin down here, right there, and Nashville. So if you work in Nashville and live in Grassland, you've got easy travel to Franklin, which is where everybody wants to be. But let's look at this as, a, as an aerial. <clears throat> I love doing this. There's the property. Nice. And if you look at these other properties that are nearby, I mean, that's the thing that I like about older neighborhoods. Look at this tree-lined streets, older neighborhoods, big old mature trees. I love that stuff. Now, we've looked at Jeb Stewart, let's look at a comparable property in that same neighborhood. Going to go to the detail. Here we go. Good. Did it right. In this particular case, this house, General Nathan Bedford Forrest, look up Forrest Gump to figure that out. <clears throat> it sold for $903,000. Now, this is a lifetime ago. It was May of last year. Do you think that it would sell for more? It would have sold for more two months ago. I think the chances are pretty good it probably would have but let's look at the vitals on it four beds three baths 2500 square feet 2500 square feet on jeb stewart this is a built in 71 same neighborhood battlewood estates there we go 1.10 on the 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 land but let's look at the pictures and see the difference what i want you to notice is they they spent a lot more money on the photographs on the, op on the open market ones, this for sale one versus an auction. They just do, I mean, cause people aren't in an auction. It's about the dollar value. It isn't about how pretty the house is, but look at this place. Is it beautiful? I'm telling you, that's beautiful. <clears throat> We've got a really cool pic. This is awesome. One other shot. This is pretty cool. This is the kitchen down at that end. I think that that's how contemporary, how cool. But here's my point. There's this, there's that. Detail, good. 900,000, 581,000. How much did they save? $320,000? Is that worth it? I don't know. Could you make this house look like this house for $300,000? I don't know. I don't know. But that's quite a savings. Let's move on to the next property. I think I got it right this time. Good deal. This one is Caroline Circle. It sold for $797,000. It is in Red Wing Meadows, one of my favorite locations in all of Franklin. We'll get to the map in a minute. Four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 2,700 square feet. Closed January of this year. Built in 1994, considerably newer. Again, Red Wing Meadows, I just love that. 0.86, it's older, it's got larger lot, right? I mean, that's just the way that goes. Absolute auction, here we are again. What is an absolute auction? The highest bid, no matter how low it is, gets the house. That's the deal. Let's look at the pictures on this thing. Am I missing anything? No. <clears throat> now this is another, man, when you're looking at auctions and, and when you're like try, listing houses, th you'll see this is pretty common. What I want you to notice, this is not at all a bad house. I mean, not at all. It needs some updating. It's got that, the older woodsy look, the wainscoting and those two colors that, you know, I don't know that that would be called, you call those trending colors these days. What else is, let's look. 
The kitchen kind of needs a little bit of updating, but it's still pretty. It's clean. Kitchen. Here's the deal. Got enough of a picture on that detail. $797,000 what that thing sold for. Let's look at the location. And this, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know why. I think it's the same reason I like grassland. It's mature, big trees, covered, covered lot, uh, covered tree, covered streets. But this is south of Franklin. There's Franklin. It's south on 65 a little bit. Everybody would used to get a lot of complaints about um, it's awful close to the highway. It's really not a problem. I think that there's, they've got sound buffers down there too. I think is what they are. <clears throat> but nonetheless, this is what this is what you've got going on. Look how nice this is. a nice area and this whole area buddy of mine but best friend lives down in this area red wing is just a great place to live when you drive in there it's like oh it's really nice <clears throat> but here's that's so that's what that's got Bing. <clears throat> again close to franklin there you go I'm gonna get out of that caroline circle <clears throat> now let's go to the comparable detail for that one. Here's, this is three beds, two and a half baths. It's 2,400 square feet. What was Caroline? 2,700 square feet. Is that correct? That's correct. <clears throat> this one sold for 795. It closed in August of last year. Seems like a lifetime ago. That's what we've got. 93 existing, same Red Wing Meadows. Yep, 0.78, got it. Was on the market 36 days, not a not a long time. <clears throat> but let's look at the pictures. Good. <sighs> nice yard. Nice front. Look at the inside. This is nice. Nice. Nice kitchen. Looks like quartz to me. Nice. I mean, this is modern and clean and nice. Nice. I think you get the picture. All, all done. Detail. Bang. So here's the thing. $795. That's what this cost in the open market. 2,400 square feet. Caroline, $797. It was 2,700 square feet. And this one sold in January of this year. Was that a good deal? I, it's 300 extra feet. So, I mean, but I'm showing you what, this is a real world example, even though they're a few months apart, real world example of the same neighborhood with an auction home. <clears throat> Let's go on to the next one. Poke place, get rid of this. Okay, did that, did that. Good. Bug place, good. Just checking my steps here, folks. Hang on. Okay. This one, seven, eight, sold for 775. <clears throat> Four beds, two and a half baths, 2,700 square feet. Built in 95 at Polk Place. We'll get to that in a second. <clears throat> it, uh, 0.22 acres, not a lot of land. This is an auction. Now in this one, I'm gonna note, you want you to notice, they're not saying it was an absolute auction. That means it was, chances are pretty good it was a reserve auction, but clearly it made it because here it is in the books. Let's see what this property looks like on the inside. This is, this is a nice house. This is a nice house and I'm, if you're asking, why did they auction this? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. I mean, I haven't studied it too much, but I mean, this is, that's a nice bathroom. Nice down shot, which they always have. Those are nice floors. 
It's recently updated, looks, looks like it to me. Nice backyard. All right, let's look at where it's located. Good. Pope Place is just, just down the street from Franklin. This is where Franklin is. Columbia, it's, that's where that is. This is on Mac Hatcher. <clears throat> This is going to be a little bit of a denser neighborhood because it just is. I mean, there you go. There's your evidence right there. This is Polk Place. Nice. I mean, it's a great picture. I mean, it just, just goes to show you. <clears throat> Again, a little denser. That's just the way it is. So let's look at, get rid of that. Let's look at detail, the comp for Polk, for, for Polk Place. And that's going to be Carnes. 805,000, this sold for 805,000. It closed just a cup, just this month, this month, just a few days ago. That's a good cup. Built 98.23 acres. I mean, it's obviously on the market. Two days, sold really fast. Three beds, two and a half, 2,800 square feet. What was this one? Four beds, two and a half, 2,700 square feet. 2,800 square feet. Now, this is a really good example. Let's look at the pictures on this one. This is the comp. See, and the pictures are a little bit better for sure. Nice. This is Carnes, correct? That is a bold choice for a door. <clears throat> nice. This needed a little bit of updating, but it's still lovely. It's a lovely home. Lovely. But how do we compare? That's, see, this is really nice. This is really nice. I mean, that's a really nice kitchen. I love that stuff. Here's my point. Detail. This sold for 805, 2,800 square feet, Polk Place, auctioned 775. Is it significantly different? I don't know. That's a pretty nice house. But here's here's the here's the practical side of the the here's the practical difference on those two properties. This is interesting. For Polk Place, it was sold in one day. No contingencies, no messing around. Winning bid, 30 days later, they're out of here. That's it. No messing around. That's what, that's one part of an auction that really is really sweet. And you never know what the reason is. Could have been family, just like, I can't deal with it, need to get it done. That was job well done on that. So let's move on to the next one. Just a couple more, literally. Get rid of that. Good. Doing good. That's, uh, time. I'm just double checking here, folks. Hang on. Good. Comp on that. Good. Now this one, notice how sparse the uh, verbiage is on this one. Time drive. It sold for $478,500. Three beds, two and a half baths, 2,100 square feet. Founders Point, I know that area well. Right across the street from West Haven. If you've been looking into the Franklin area, you've heard of West Haven, chances are really good. But Founders Point is just across the street. You never know. This, it says here, home to sell at public auction. Great opportunity. What's the, hmm. I'm gonna guess that this, was, I'm going to guess that this one was sold as an absolute because that's, I, well, I just don't know. And they don't tell us. It was closed this year, just a couple of months ago. Again, three beds, two baths, 2,100 square feet. Need to highlight that. Highlight this. <clears throat> Close, yes. Mm -hmm. 
good. 1998, good. Founders Point, we're going to show you that in a second. Uh, 0.22, again, it was just like Polk Place. These are more modern, less land making, you know, it's just the way it is. <clears throat> in this particular, oh man, look at this. This is going to be interesting. I don't believe there's any pictures for this at all. This is really a common. A lot of auctions have no pictures, a lot of them. And the reason oftentimes is because the inside's trashed. Like the, the renters live there, it's just trash the place. But here's what I want you to understand about this particular property. And it's, I'm sorry that we couldn't get to see the inside. Here, I'm gonna show you where it is. It's on Tyne Drive, Founders. I can't say enough. This is a really nice area. Really nice area. Hang on. There we go. This, for anybody that's interested, this right here, that's West Haven. And this house, right across the street. Does that make a difference? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, hell yeah. <clears throat> but in this particular example, there's no pictures of the house. No, and I can guarantee you this. To show you the pictures wouldn't have helped the sale at all. That's the reason people omit pho photographs is because it makes the look, property look worse than what it is. So there you go. But on the day of sale, it's sold for $478,000, nearly $500,000. Let's look at the comp for that. Four beds, two and a half, 2,700 square feet. This is three beds, so we're gonna look at one more bedroom and a little bit less, less square footage. Hmm. But it's also, but I think that this was the only property that I had available that was even close to that Founders Point. It sold for 707000 Think about that. 707000 23, everything else is the same. Same place across the street, all that kind of stuff. Let's look at the pictures. Man, this is nice. Is that looking pink? Is that, is that me? Is that looking pink? Wow. That is grand. Huh, that's hmm. a little short on the pictures on this. I'm not judging, but I guess I am. <clears throat> Who am I? Details. 707, 500. Is that worth it? Well, they saved $200,000, 200000 but it is significantly less on square footage, taking that all into account. Nonetheless, that's what Founders Point, Founders Point is a nice place. That's what you get. And that's what, that's what this video is to help you see what the comparisons are, right? So the last one, this is, yeah, good details. This is in Franklin Green. Franklin Green, again, is right next door to West Haven. Super popular, West Haven is super popular. And Franklin Green is sort of modest, it's more modest. The, the, now you're gonna, I'm gonna go through this in a second, but let's just start where I started was a second ago. It's near West Haven. This house sold for $488,000, called 490. <laughs> Four bedrooms, two and a half bath, 1,977 square feet, it closed just a month ago, 1999 existing. That's when they were pretty much all built back there, Frank and Green. It's a lovely place, got lots of, walking trails and playgrounds and it's just a it's a nice place you're going to notice that the land the lots are pretty small 0.13 we're talking about that the later homes until they get more expensive the later homes in the in the more modest category just didn't just didn't have a lot of land <clears throat> and this is going to be and they didn't on this one indicate if it's a if it's um a reserve or an absolute auction, so we don't know. But it's being sold as is, where is, which is the whole point of the thing. Let's see what this thing looks like on the inside. Pictures, pictures, bang. 
Again, a little short on the photographs. You know, there's not much, they're not showing you much. The reason, again, it wouldn't, it wouldn't help sell the property. Let's show you where it is. We were here just a second ago. This is Franklin Green. This is West Haven. West Haven, Franklin Green. And we're only moments ago, we we're over in Founders Point. So it's all close. It's all right there in a really cool part of town. Let's look at the comparable property details, comparable property in Franklin Green. It's sold for 615. Four beds, two and a half, 1987. What was this one? 1977, four beds, two and a half. This is four beds, two and a half, 1977. It closed just a couple of months ago, 2001. So it's three years newer, right? Franklin Green, got it. 0.14, same land. This is for open sale, meaning regular, normal, selling on the MLS kind of a thing. Let's look at the pictures on the inside. That's a lovely home. It's a lovely home. With a fireplace and the whole bit. Those are nice pictures. I like that dusky kind of look. Nice floor. This, this is a nice house. Here's the teal. Here's, that's, that's a nice kitchen. Nice subway tile. That's popular. I've got subway tile. <laughs> TMI. <clears throat> Quick and easy Italian recipes. Good deal. This is a nice house. Now check this out. Go back to our details, ping. 615, saw what that house looks like. We don't have a clue what this one looks like on the inside, but you know it's gonna be somewhere close. 488, so that was $120,000 difference. Could $120,000 take this place and make it look like this place? Could it? Don't let the pictures throw you off. I mean, that's going to be a big deal. Could you do that? Here's my point. The way auctions work, it's worth a shot. Now, if you were to go to an auction and try it, you have to be ready. If you're going to put in an offer, it's not like you win the bid and go, I got to get qualified. You walk in there locked and loaded, ready to go. So. Um, if you want more details on auctions, I can give you kind of an overview, um, but I'd love to talk to you about that. Uh, leave a comment if this has interested you at all, this format. And it's so different for me. Uh, we'll just have to see what the metrics are, how things show up later. But I, this was fun for me. Um, let me know if, if you liked this. Leave a comment and uh, either tell me to keep going or stop it because it's terrible. But anyway, if you're thinking about auctions and wondering, do they happen in Franklin, Tennessee? The answer is yes, they do. And we're gonna end up this way. Mm -hmm.